Hunter x Hunter episode 58. Oh, this happened fast. She's already here. I still feel like we're because on, her, on his back foot. Oh, the chain. And that is a huge relief. Krolo so wrapped up in Kurapika's weakness, he's missing Pakunoda's weakness, which is kind of the same thing, but maybe a little bit more romantic. The irony in this standoff is that I feel that between Krolo and Pakunoda, Pakunoda is in more danger than Krolo, partly because of exactly what Krolo is talking about, the fact that she cares. In so many dynamics, it's the person who wants it more, who has more at stake emotionally that is in the weaker position and has a greater chance of losing. That's like so true in relationships sometimes. Desire is really powerful leverage. The only thing I think that can make up for that is real skill and knowledge, which I think is what Kurapika will probably lean on. Sometimes what it comes down to is people who have leverage. Maybe they have something really desirable. They don't always realize the extent to which they're playing a game. It's been natural to them for so long to get what they want. Every now and then there's someone that comes along that's a wolf among sheep and they know the game. And even if they're inherently weaker or not on the same footing, they can figure it out through just sheer <laughs> intelligence, self-control, problem solving. But it's not easy. Not a lot of people can do that. Generally, relationships based on leverage fall into what is kind of the most organic setting. Signal X to X retreat. The chain is going to be crucial. Uh-oh. Oh, there's doubt. That's human. That is true. Uh, less clear. Less clear. What is clear is if, she, if Kurapika kills Krolo, that's it for going in Kalua. <laughs> Meanwhile, Kurapika is just standing there in silence. What's the, what's the plan? What's the plan? What's the plan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're going to be stronger with them anyway. They're going to help you take down the Phantom Troop. That was a backstory there. The chain, yeah, the, the binding chain. Right, right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. How does Krolo feel about this? There's a, so many ways this could go. Suddenly, Pakuna Noda's biggest danger doesn't seem to even be Kurapika. I, I think that it's pretty clear she really wants Krolo back. Really curious how Krolo feels because we know he loves his comrades, but his massive devotion to the spider, and there is at least some dissent from the other members. <laughs> Well, she was told to, no? Krolo truly believes that, yeah. That's what I am saying, yeah, exactly. I feel like you should just, you know, have a moment to talk about this with Kurapika. Just in case. Yeah, yeah, here's the danger. This could go really horribly, horribly wrong if one of them just ends up attacking Gonin Kalua, then they're fighting amongst themselves. Krolo doing an amazing job that there isn't more dissent about this. If there were any opportunists in the group, anybody gunning for leadership, that would have been revealed here. And that's when Pakunoda and Gonin Kalua became allies? Oh. Wow, they do need Krolo. Krolo's gone five minutes and they're already about to slit each other's throats. Any excuse, right? <laughs> Watch Gonin Kalua fight on their side. Yeah. I mean, they said as much. Oh yeah, that's gonna rile going up a lot. I don't think Gon's afraid of first life ever. I just busted through those chains like there were some kind of balloons. <laughs> of course, also able. That's hilarious. 
感情に焼かれて容赦なしで殺したりはしない。もしもお前たちと約束を交わしたら、それを一方的に破ることも絶対。And that potential is definitely there. This came up in Steins Gate, or is coming up in Steins Gate a lot. Like the human thing in this situation is to have all the worst thoughts flooding your head. I think that's what we were seeing, right? Kurpika is briefly considering, well, what if I just let go and Clue would die, right? It's like a thought that you can't stop creeping up, and then it's just at the forefront of your your thoughts. For me, that's perfectly relatable. I mean, like in every situation, especially if there's something I really want, but like getting the thing I really want involves me doing something terrible. Terrible. The thoughts are definitely there, you know. <laughs> Immediately. Speaking of leverage, right? A lot of the biggest weaknesses people have, a lot of my biggest weaknesses come from strong desires, unmet needs,、uh, deep rooted fears about myself, my life, my worth, etc. And you can be an extremely strong person. You can be like one of the strongest people in the world. And it only takes one minor crack in your armor, one weakness, even if it's small relative to the whole of who you are. If it's deep enough and painful enough, it can compromise the whole thing. And those things, they will get you if not. You know, healed. They're just waiting. They will get you eventually. And when you're in a situation where your wishes can be fulfilled, no matter how dark or what dark roads you have to travel to get there, there will be that kind of magnetic temptation for just going for it. And I'm sure I'm not alone in this. I'm sure this is most people, not everyone. It's just that we all kind of live this in silence. By nature, the most terrible thoughts, ideations we have are the ones we're least willing to share. But I would argue that there should be no judgment at all in the thoughts because they're not something that can be controlled. In fact, they're, they're really useful in exposing those very same weaknesses that I was just describing. The way I look at it, the real test is just what you do in that situation. If you have a terrible thought, but do what you feel is right, that's it, 100%. Of the right thing. The fact that the thoughts are there adds no negative assessment to the to the whole. It's just good to know that you have that capacity and there's something there to address. So I don't fault Kurpika at all. Yeah, that sounds pretty bad. But you forgot Hisoka. <laughs> Speaking of Hisoka, Kurla would make the same argument. That is extremely wise from Frankenstein. Man, gun arms and a, a warm heart. And a cool mind. Wow. I think I was, I was definitely sleeping on Franklin. There definitely was a moment there where it felt like the Phantom Troop could destroy themselves. <laughs> Gon is such, a, such an instigator. It's, it's amazing. He just can't be beaten spiritually. Sokka is still. No dialogue, because he doesn't need it. He can just sit and wait in arousal. Oh, I totally forgot about the cliffhanger last episode. Clue's brother's here, too. Oh, it's not even him. Leverage that Kurpika doesn't know. It's interesting to me that h i s o k a I mean, I know k u r l o is his highest target, but he could have killed the other members of the Phantom Troop, but then I guess k u r l o goes into hiding or he loses him for a while. <laughs> High five, everything's great. Thank you, Pakunoda, for loving me so dearly. Wait, what? I, I think I missed something. He can, like, never talk to them again? I thought it was just for the duration of the exchange. So she just saved him out of pure love. Oh, he's going to confront him head on. I guess he's alone. This is wild. Oh, it was, it was rubber and gum. It's permanent? <laughs> Whoops. Wow. Unaroused. Hisoka knows Hisoka well. Hisoka isn't anything. He would never live in a box. It's just not Hisoka style. The box lives in Hisoka. It's also kind of hilarious to watch Hisoka, like, not win for once. 
少なくとも黒ロがボクに殺されることは。殺されたんだ。ダッジソーカ、ウィザウトダイング。壊れたおもちゃに興味はないんでね。ハーシュ、バチュルフォーム。危険な目に遭わせて悪かったな。うん。団
that's crazy. As from Kalua, no less. The assassin prodigy himself. They don't know how real that is. Damn. <laughs> no! I mean, it's cool, but no. <laughs> Aww. I wanted that arc to never end. So good. Man, the Phantom Troop was such a great surprise. It was so much better than anything I ever thought it would be. Actually, in a weird way, it feels like the loser... <laughs> Besides Pakanona, who's dead. And all the other people that the Phantom Troop killed is Hisoka. For having felt like he was on top the whole time. They end up, like, just, I don't know, getting bored and leaving. On the plus side, he didn't expend all that much energy. It was just a lot of sitting by a window. So nothing really lost. That was an amazing addition, that moment where Gon and Kluo openly stating they don't want Kurapika to kill, which has kind of been my feelings about this the whole time. And again, I don't even know if it's about the killing. I think it's about, like, the losing yourself to the demon. Like, I don't think they feel the same way, or I wouldn't feel the same way if Gon and Kluo in, in, like, the heat of the moment, you know? But this whole thing, this calculated plot to go out and murder eight admittedly vile in many ways people do the mafia's dirty work to get there it's definitely a slide like i know what it looks like and feels like to be compromised and make excuses for your what you're doing it almost never goes well i mean there's two scenarios one you compromise something you really believe in you weaken your own image with yourself which has vow breaking like consequences you feel terrible you have lost control you've surrendered some agency to like your most base animal state and you accomplish your goal and it feels good it feels satisfying for a moment and then you're back to you and you're weaker you're worse you've lost something the gain you had is is so temporary probably the loss is kind of eternal in a sense or it will take a very very long time to build it's really really easy to destroy things it's not that easy to build things it's not equivalent going backwards in a critical way sucks it hurts the second option is you do all of those things i just mentioned and you don't even get what you want, or it's not satisfying, or it feels terrible, or you just lose, and now you've lost massively. You didn't even get the thing. You sacrifice all those things you loved about yourself to get, so you really have nothing. I think Kurapika's day will come eventually for the Phantom Troop. I don't know if we'll see it in this anime adaptation, but like, this wasn't it. It, it was pretty clear to me, like Melody, and now I guess Gon and Kalua, that it was somewhat unhinged. Gon, Kalua, Hunter Cyclopedia. Introduce, yes, at this late hour of this arc. Where's my spinoff? Where's my Krolo spinoff and Phantom Troop spinoff? Well, anyway, all that can be forgotten now. Forget that arc. It's time for the auction, finally. I've been waiting for this.